that drives our collective decision-making capacities. We don't want to choose. Oh Lord, please no, don't make me make a choice. You choose. Let my mama choose. Let Ariana Grande tell me which toothpaste to face my teeth with. God, not me. Anyone but me. You can't make me. I didn't even consider considering. There's an app for that now. Thank you for joining me again. May your meals be plentiful, your cocks erect, and lies be consistent. This is Guru Paul. Goodbye. And now before we go, a word from our sponsors. 93 KHJ. You're a slob. But that's fine. Pick up the phone, you son of a bitch. Most people spend their lives doing whatever they can in order to be relieved of the burden that is freedom. We chase delegation, prescribe to-do lists, what to watch next. I recommend this steak, on and on and on. We spend the better half of our childhood staring out the classroom window, longing for the decision-making capacities which adults are privileged with. Then something, what? then something funny happens when we're granted those exact same privileges upon growing up. We stare out into the black oceanic abyss, that is freedom, specifically freedom of choice. And what do we do? We tell that kid who's so long to be free to just shut up. We even go so far as to use that men in black memory wipe device on it. Don't lie to yourself, you never wanted to be free. Now do me a favor, look at this green dot and whatever you do, do not blink. Thank you very much. All this choosing brings this invasive anxiety into our lives. It's like the vertigo that comes from looking down a cliff. It's not so much the fear of falling as it is the fear that you can't trust yourself not to throw yourself off. You start getting lightheaded. You want to hold on to something solid, tie yourself down, but you find it isn't that easy to skew yourself against the dangers that come with freedom. Soren Kierkegaard wrote it. Anxiety is the dizziness of freedom. Our entire lives are spent on the edge of that precipice. I mean, I honestly believe that's how most existential crises are birth, well, at least how most of mine are, in the overwhelmingly debilitating comprehension of our freedom, capital F. F. So if I am indeed free, then what should I be doing at every given moment? It's too much. No wonder we seek delegation, be it divine delegation. God, what should I do? Corporate delegation. What's next on the agenda, boss? Even romantic delegation. I don't care. I'll eat whatever you want to eat, so on, so forth, etc. and the like. Anything to get you started, sir? What's this? I mean, a cocktail, perhaps? Um, I'll just have an Irish coffee. Just start. Uh... Yeah, I'm kind of tired. Very well. You'd be lying to my mustache if you were to tell me you haven't at least at some point in your tender sweet life spent more time deciding what you want to watch on Netflix than actually watching Netflix and then spent the first 15 minutes of watching whatever you decided to watch on Netflix contemplating whether it was the right choice to make. The burden of choosing analysis paralysis. Here we are. No worries, no. Decide what you like. I'm still deciding. A life full of choices, decisions to make. Jean-Paul Sartre wrote it, starting from where you are now, you choose. And in choosing, you also choose who you will be. Your life is in your choices. You are your choices. And sure, factors do come into play with this obligation, be it your past experiences, your psychological makeup, or what's happening around you. These factors can and do play a role, but the whole mixture merely adds up to the situation out of which you must act. You. Not your mama or your project partner, or the Dalai Lama, or your wife, or her boyfriend Pascal, but you. Every single day for the rest of your life. Now that's frightening to exactly the same degree as it is exhilarating. Exhilaratingly frightening. I'm Riley Swepp of the show, you take on a little Joe Sam. I'll tell you what I thought you that I am. I think advertising is the war of delegation. All these brands and products are simply competing for your permission to allow them to take command of a specific delegation in your life. Be it petrol, lunch, or pants. Does that answer your question, Jedediah, you slimy son of a bitch? What was that? I called you a son of a you bitch. You call me a son of a bitch one more time. I'll call you a son of a bitch several times over because that's exactly what you are. You son of a bitch, son of a bitch, son of a bitch. Son of a bitch. <laughs> Again, Jean-Paul Sartre, there is no traced out path to lead man to his salvation. He must constantly invent his own path. But to invent it, he is free, responsible, without excuse, and all hope lies within him. As much as it may have sounded like I was shitting on the idea of delegating the freedoms of your life, I still believe in it to some extent, of course. 
but to the measure that one is actively, consciously deciding where she delegates her freedoms to. Delegating the delegation, so to speak. Laying out the foundation, the foundation for contentment. Contentment on your terms. some sense delegating your choices to a Google review or the murmuring of your workmates is akin to death. What good's a life if not decided for by the one living it? I don't want to become an old man with nothing to show for it but the age. Freedom of choice is vital to our well-being, the autonomy of decision. However, the danger, you know, besides incurable existential dread, is knowing whether the engine of our choices is autonomy or is it just the illusion of autonomy. So you have a phone call, and also I'm going to have to ask you to be a bit quick about your decision. You see, I have other tables to... Whose phone is this? It's yours, of course. Hello? Jeez, it took you long enough to pick up the chick at my note. Who is this? Listen, I recommend the steak. Medium rare. Alright? Goodbye. Freedom is a burden. Yes, and you know what? So be it. All right, I'll take on that burden. If it means I can say what I choose to say, do what I choose to do, then I'll more than gladly live with that burden. The price for freedom is living with it. I'll just have the steady plate. Hey, you. Now before we go, a word from our sponsors. You're a slob, and that's fine, because even slobs deserve cheeseburgers. Get yours today. Hell, maybe even with fries and a drink. This radio presentation was brought to you by Cheeseburgers. Mm -mm, cheeseburgers, so delicious. Hell, maybe with fries and a drink.